Hi friends, this is Haruka from Planet Education. I am here today to share some college tips for families who are trying to navigate their college admissions journeys in the midst of this pandemic. Right now, as you know, so many schools, colleges, universities are moving online. Um, in the case of the UCs and the CSUs, pretty much um, everything is gone virtual. And so what are families doing in terms of, what's going on in terms of tuition, right? Are families going to uh, have to pay the full amount of tuition for online learning? Well, for the most part, the answer to that is yes. That's right. So tuition, right, in-state is on average about $22,000 a year. Out-of-state is about $50,000. Uh, if it is a private school, it is even higher than that. And as the schools have shifted online, the tuition discounts have been primarily for housing, for dining, obviously because if the students are not on campus, these fees are getting prorated. Uh, things like athletics are being canceled. Uh, Ivy League and the Pac-12, for example, are saying no sports are taking place in the fall. So obviously they can't charge for those expenses. Um, and this is all happening for the student's safety. Uh, that said, tuition, for the most part, is not changing. They, for example, Harvard, Harvard University has announced that they are going to keep the tuition rates the same. And, um, and that is, in, you know, it, at the same time, they're also saying that about 40% of the students are going to be on campus. So, um, uh, the financial aid, so, financial aid office is going to be uh, calculating the changes in terms of food and housing into the awards uh, for students who are studying remotely. Other schools are saying they will offer a tuition cut. So for example, Princeton University has announced a tuition cut of 10%. Um, and then Williams College, which is one of the wealthiest colleges, liberal arts colleges, uh, you know, with an endowment of $2.89 million, and it's a small school too, they are dropping their tuition by 15%. It still means that the cost of attendance is very high, 63,000. So sometimes if the school is, a, is one with um, a, a large endowment and fewer number of students, they're able to be more generous, right? Um, other schools, not so, not so much. My, um, some schools are actually having a tuition hike as planned. And one example is my <laughs> beloved alma mater, Cornell University. I just looked this up this morning and they're raising tuition by 3.6% this upcoming year, uh, because they approved this, um, you know, annual tuition rises before the pandemic started. So there it's uh, 58K. It's quite um, distressing. For all these reasons, you can understand there are many uh, students that are protesting and lawsuits galore for tuition refunds. This includes, um, you know, thousands of petitions being, uh, com you know, collected at uh, the UC campuses and the CSU campuses because uh, uh, they're arguing that the quality of online instruction is not the same. You're not getting the same um, university experience, right? As a student, it's this experience. Uh, but the universities, for the most part, are holding their ground. They're saying that tuition and fees are going to be... Uh, um, going to hold because still faculty have to be paid right if you're the if you're teaching it doesn't matter whether you are online or in the classroom uh, classes still have to be uh, kept up and and that is uh, what they're saying uh, the UC's uh, Janet Napolitano said that they have lost nearly 300 million dollars as a result of the pandemic due to refunds in housing and dining and just cleaning, right? These are 
unanticipated cost. So it is um, a real difficult situation for everybody from whether you are the student and your academic life is getting disrupted, you're the parent and you're paying for these cost of attendance, or from the university side, the faculty administration, it this pandemic is really, really a challenge. Um, so now the question, what can you as a parent do to mitigate this situation? Well, I, did you know that there is such a thing as tuition insurance? So, um, this is something that uh, a family can look up. Uh, some tuition insurance can be offered from the university or separately. So examples are Alliance, Global, and Liberty Mutual. I'll get the links and put them in the, um, the, uh, the boxes below. But typically, by you know, it, the, the fee is about 1% of the tuition cost. And, you know, it, you have a certain period of time you can get some of the tuition refunds. Uh, but there are exclusions. Devil is in the details, like anything. So, it, you know, if you do anything that is, you know, not allowed, permitted, like let's say they say no sports and you actually participate in sports or you congregate where you're not supposed to congregate, uh, if you participate in rioting or... Uh, those things are considered exclusions and you may not get the tuition refund. Most importantly, I was looking at the details today, fear of COVID being the reason for uh, withdrawing is not a valid response either, at least in, in one of the insurance uh, terms that I saw. But this is something that I think a lot of families are going to, should look into, in tuition insurance. Again, La Alliance Global and Liberty Mutual were the two, two companies that I've seen a few times over the last few months. So I look at that. The other thing that I urge all families to do is to complete their FAFSA. I don't care how much your family is earning. Um, some families think, oh, I'm not gonna get any money anyway, but this is uh, a very important period and you never know. Think of FAFSA as an insurance policy as well because if your uh, financial situation changes, if you or your spouse loses income, and your financial situation changes. This way you have a baseline and you are able to appeal your financial aid award. Uh, this is especially important for, you know, well, anybody, but whether you're applying to public schools or private schools, college is extremely expensive. It's a very important investment, but you want to be wise with your decision-making. I hope that helps. This is, um, you know, if you feel my uh, tips and um, updates are helpful, I encourage you to continue to watch me on my Facebook Lives on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock and like and share this video with your friends who can also, you know, find value in uh, college advice. I'm the host of College Knowledge Webinars, and you can uh, access my master class by checking out my website, planeteducation.com. All right, that's all for now. Take it easy and stay safe.